Hi, welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds. I have another jigsaw puzzle video for you today. Uh, my initial plan was to do uh, this puzzle here, the Wasgage Mystery number 18, uh, grabbing a quick bite. That was the plan. But then this happened because I just received a surprise parcel in the mail um, and I recognise the handwriting and I think I know what it is. So if I shake it, you may be able to guess yourself. I think it's a jigsaw puzzle. I was talking to my stepdad not so long ago about jigsaw puzzles that uh, I used to do as a kid and uh, we mentioned a few different ones. Uh, so I've got a good idea as to which one it might be but i'm not entirely certain so here goes the surprise puzzle let's see what it is aha it's the wasgage it's the wasgage oh my not only is it the wasgage it's the first wasgage. The very first one. I knew we had it. I knew we had it. I just recently bought a couple of wasgages and we're up on like, I don't know, 38 or 40 or something on the wasgages now. Uh, but this one we had when I was a kid and I remember doing it. In fact, I remember doing it more than once and really loving them. And I thought, I think that might actually have been the very first wasgage. And it is and my amazing stepdad has sent it to me through the post. So since receiving the surprise parcel, I had a bit of a change of heart with regard to this video and I decided instead of doing the mystery was gage, I would do this one and also the mystery one in the same video and I'll do the builds in time-lapse and at the end I thought I would do a little comparison between the two wasgages. So kicking things off with the original number one first wasgage, uh, here we go.
finished puzzles, which uh, for the purposes of this comparison, I've had to put on the floor as the only surface that I've got that's big enough to kind of um, cover the whole two puzzles and the boxes as well. Uh, so uh, before I kick off with the comparison, the direct comparisons, I wanted to start with a, um, just a wee rundown of the box picture versus the actual solution to the puzzle. So we're well, starting with the original Wasgage. Um, so here you can see you've got the lady driving the blue car, which says MPH 15. Uh, presumably that's referring to the speed that she's going, 15 miles per hour. Um, so not very fast, so that perhaps gives you your first clue. Um, the picture that you see is supposed to be from the perspective of this uh, chap who's on the horse and cart. Um, and obviously you've got this worried looking wobbly cyclist and um, an equally worried looking shepherd and a hedgehog who is hightailing it out of there as fast as his wee legs can carry him. Um, so that's the picture on the box and that is the solution to the final puzzle. So clearly you've got the blue car, uh, which you can see the front of this time. The lady's quite happily going along at her own pace, which again, probably 15 miles per hour. <laughs> if the angry faces of this humongous queue of traffic behind her is anything to go by. Uh, starting off with the very large red truck. And going along all these cars, which come out the other side and off into the distance. So, <laughs> That is the solution to the uh, the uh, original Wasgage number one, the 1997 uh, very first Wasgage that came out. And moving over to the mystery, uh, here we have the box picture which shows diners at this French cafe drinking coffee and eating croissants and various other uh, lovely looking food items and everything looks serene and calm and very nice but with it being a mystery something is about to happen and that is what the puzzle solution ultimately will be. Um, my initial theory on this was uh, that it would have something to do with the dogs of which there is one there and one there on this lady's knee uh, sitting right beside a sign that says no dogs and if you move across here a bit it also says no ball games which draws my attention to this little boy here who is cheekily playing with a ball. Uh, so uh, yeah my theory on that one was uh, dogs chasing after the ball or perhaps each other. Um, uh, so anyway, without further ado, I will show you the solution. And we have a little bit of both of what I thought. Um, firstly, yes, the ball's gone pinging off here, ricocheted off the chandelier there. And Yes, I think it might have ricocheted in a few other directions as well, I'm not sure. There's uh, birds flapping about all over the place here. We've got this dog still in the same place it was before, but this one has leapt off the lady's lap and nabbed off with somebody's burger. Uh, so that's quite funny. And uh, the thing I didn't expect, uh, and probably my favourite aspect of this puzzle, is this chap here who has popped himself up from under the manhole cover, which I just sort of didn't really notice. I mean, I noticed it was there, but I never really kind of took it into account when I was trying to think what 
the picture might be. So yeah, I thought that was quite a cool little detail. And then my other favourite thing about this is the uh, the pictures of the animals that are also reacting uh, to what's going on. I thought that was quite funny as well. So in terms of a direct comparison between the two puzzles, um, I start off with the obvious one really, and that is that it's an original Wasgidge versus the mystery uh, Wasgidge concept. And yes, they are different, so it's kind of an obvious difference really to point out. But the thing I wanted to point out about mysteries versus originals is that I personally believe that the mystery Wasgidges are easier to do. And the reason I believe that is because the picture, although it is different from the box, it isn't so different that you have no idea what colours go where or what pieces go where. You at least know with a mystery puzzle like this one that there are still going to be big blue doors, there's still going to be a table with a pink tablecloth and a green tablecloth, and there's still going to be people dressed in the same clothing. Uh, they're not all going to be different people and they're not all going to suddenly change clothes. They might move position, uh, they might well move position, but as a general rule, the colour elements will be the same, which helps when you're trying to figure out where the pieces go. Uh, so I believe for that reason that the mystery was Gidges are easier and perhaps a good one to start with if you're only just coming to Wasgidge and you've never done a Wasgidge before. Um, and the, the idea of doing a puzzle without a picture to follow is perhaps a bit daunting. I would say mystery is definitely a good one to go for. Um, what, with the original Wasgidge, you have some clues. So you know there's going to be a blue car at the front and you know there's going to be like a cyclist. And in the, the immediate foreground, you know those people are going to be there. But the rest is just completely... It's a blank canvas. You just don't know. You don't know what you're going to see, what the scene is going to be. So, um, yeah, a bit more challenging. I, and I like a challenge, I've got to admit. I uh, I did enjoy this one. I enjoyed them both equally, actually, but I, I find a challenging puzzle uh, just more satisfying to do, personally speaking. Um, so that's the comparison with regard to mystery versus original. Uh, the next obvious comparison that I wanted to make was old versus new. Um, now, with the mystery uh, was Gidge, this was released last year, 2020. So it is a very new recent puzzle. Um, it's not the most recent mystery. I think we're up to number 20 now. This one's number 18. Uh, but as comparisons go, this one is uh, from 1997. So uh, yeah, so there's like more than, I don't know, 30 years difference here. Um, the original was actually re-released in uh, 2017 as a, uh, like a retro range that they re-released for the 20th anniversary of Wasgage. Um, and it would actually be really interesting to see how the retro version of this differs because uh, it is the same picture. It's the same artist that's done the picture. Um, but there, there's a marked difference in the shape of the pieces between these two puzzles. And that was the thing I wanted to point out next. Um, with this one being the very first one... Uh, I expected that there might be some differences, but the biggest things that I found were, if you zoom in a little bit on these pieces, you can see here, the tabs that stick out are quite small and they're not as rounded as the tabs on this puzzle which you can see are a lot more rounded and they really interlock really neatly and snugly with the adjacent pieces. Whereas this one, it interlocks fine, but there is a lot more movement. So you can see here, if I move that, there's some gapping that goes on there and it's a really loose fit and a little bit wobbly. And I noticed it whilst I was doing it because I actually found it hard 
um, in some cases to figure out if I'd actually put a piece in the right place. Unless there was an obvious graphic detail where you knew uh, that it went together. If it was a, a block of colour like this, and I, in fact I actually struggled with this bottom row, um, and I actually did the, the bottom edge towards the end because I was putting pieces together and just had no idea if they were correct because they just didn't fit quite as snugly as the pieces in this more recent puzzle. So it'd be interesting to see if the retro version of this has pieces the same shape or if it has pieces cut more like this, uh, more standard kind of flush ribbon cut. Um, so I actually found that quite challenging as well. Um, I mean, I'm still able to do it, obviously, you know, you can still kind of piece it together, but I just, it made it take longer for me and uh, it made it a little bit harder to do. Um, so yeah, that was the main difference, just kind of like a general piece shape difference. The other thing I wanted to mention as well was that the, the cut isn't always flush. Sometimes there's a bit of a bit of a misalignment in the picture. I'm going to try and find one here that's a bit more obvious so I can point it out. Kind of there. Uh, a little bit there. I know there's more obvious ones there. That's a bit misaligned. There, that's quite a big one there. Uh, and there. Scattered throughout the puzzle. It's just, it's not like this one where the line that's cut across the pieces is just flush from one piece to the next, one piece to the next, one piece to the next, it's just flush. Um, and that was another thing that made it difficult sometimes to know if I was putting the pieces in the right place or not. But it's not really a gripe, it's just a point of comparison between the older one and the newer one. Uh, but both still equally entertaining puzzles, um, both different artists. This one is by Graham Thompson, who's done a lot of the Wozgidge puzzles. And this one is Paul Gibbs, um, who's done quite a few of the mystery puzzles and I think some of the Christmas ones as well, which follow the like original Wozgidge concept. Um, Graham Thompson's been there sort of from day one, so he's done a lot of them as well, but they're both equally humorous, both silly, uh, and both really, really funny, really good to do, really entertaining. I would highly recommend them. I would, even if you can't get hold of the old one, buy the retro one and uh, the retro version of this and, uh, and do it because it's such great fun. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison of the puzzles and the time lapse of me building them. I hope to see you in my next video, be it was Gidge or puzzle related or not. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my video. See you later. Bye.